Long before computers hummed to life, most industrial age companies did more building than paperwork. They didn't need offices or office workers, but simply served the physical needs of people in a physical fashion. Once office functions became necessary, the clerks were kept in the back room away from the real workers to keep from interfering with production. Offices like this had rows of people handling tasks from answering phones to counting money to taking dictation. Their tools were the latest technologies of the time. Then, one by one, newer technologies were invented not only to help these people, they began to replace them. Get me Crinsley, right away. I'm sorry, but Mr. Crinsley is not in the office right now. What do you tell that guy? So please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. We'll have those numbers for you in a moment, Bob. Your letter's almost done, sir. The office as we know it was changed forever in a matter of decades, and IT made a lot of that possible. Let's consider for a moment the function of an office. It contains people who oversee or design products and services, market them, and handle finances. Information technology continues to reduce the role of people in some of these functions, while simultaneously reducing the importance of location.